Morgan Foster is an incredibly talented makeup artist. With special effects makeup, she has the ability to transform herself completely from an ice cream princess or a piece of pop art to a terrifying beaked animal or even a leprechaun. She also works full time as a freelance makeup artist doing beautiful looks for brides and events. Hey Morgan, thank you for chatting with us today. And first of all, I just have to say, awesome makeup you've done right now. Where did you get the inspiration from? Um, there's actually been a few people on Instagram that I follow um, that I've seen similar kind of looks and I've always wanted to do it, so it seemed like the perfect opportunity. But it's one thing to see it and it's another to be able to actually do it. How do you translate a picture you see to your face? Um, I've always been kind of a creative person, um, like I've always done a lot of art and things like that, so to me I kind of just see things and in my head I just kind of figure it out. And I you just know do how it. to do it. Yeah, it just, it's not really something that I've ever had to kind of learn to do. It's just you see something and I kind of think, all right, those colours, that's how I'm going to do it. And yeah, it just kind of happens. That's amazing. So do you like to paint your face most days? Um, not all the time. It really depends. Uh, you do get a little bit over it. Um, there's been days where I've put like paint through my hair and I've <laughs> done all this stuff and some of it, if you're doing it properly, it's not meant to come off easily. Okay. So then washing yourself can be a bit of a mission. So yeah, it, it, yeah, it kind of depends. Halloween is like an everyday kind of thing. So do you go out in public like that? Like if you need to go get some milk and bread from the supermarket, would you just pop out with your yep. face on? Would you? Um, Yep, so I do it pretty much every single time I do a look. Um, to me, I'm kind of like, if I'm going to spend the time doing it, I'm not just then going to wash it off. So I'll just go and do, yeah, go to the supermarket, <laughs> things like that. Um, yeah, like when I was the um, leprechaun for St. Paddy's Day, yep. I went out that night uh, like that. So Yeah, and what kind yeah. of reaction do you get from people? Um, a lot of people will kind of... They'll stare at you, but they'll kind of look down like that, not trying to. And I'm, to me, I'm kind of like, obviously, I have makeup on, so like you can look at me. But they kind of look like like I'm deformed, and they don't want to like offend me. But actually, it's beautiful artwork that you're doing, and you you do makeup for like commercials and weddings and stuff as well. Do you have a, a preference? Um, not really. To me, all. Anything creative, I love doing. Um, at the end of wedding season, I am generally keen to do something a little bit more creative because yeah. wedding season kind of takes over and that's all you do for a few months. Um, but yeah, no, I don't really have a preference. Anything, all faces are different, so it's new every time. It's such a cool job you have. What advice would you give to people at home who would like to be professional makeup artists? Practice, just practice. practice absolutely everything, every aspect. Um, don't just focus on, say if you wanted to really get into weddings, don't just focus on doing bridal. Um, do this kind of thing as well and just really get your skills up there. Um, and it just honestly translates into every aspect of what you're doing. So yeah, it's just kind of mastering all those basics and then, yeah. Brilliant, and what's your dream job? Like, would you like to work on a crazy sci-fi movie or like, what's the um, dream? For me, it would be having my own um, studio and doing prosthetic makeup. If I could sculpt and mould and create prosthetics all day, every day I would. It's my absolute favourite. I could just do that constant. I'd love to work for someone that like Weta Workshop. Yep. Um, would be amazing, yeah. Well, you're well on your way. You're doing such amazing things and it's really fun to see the looks that you keep coming up with. What can we expect next? Um, I think I'm kind of really very excited for the um, new Suicide Squad movie. I'm yes. Huge, like all the Marvel and all comic book characters and things That's like that. That's going to be so great. Seeing them um, come to life in movies. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to Halloween. Um, awesome. So cool stuff with that, yeah. All right, well, we'll be keeping an eye out um, on all your makeup towards Halloween as well. See if I can copy something. But thank you so much for talking to us. No worries, thank you for having me. Thanks, Morgan. Hopefully that's inspired some of you guys. <laughs> Please, oh, hurry up and subscribe. Click, click the subscribe button. No oh, Eva, you've been pushing. No. Why is it so big? Oh, keep pushing. Just click subscribe. Otherwise, we're going to be here the whole time. Oh. Oh.